so hey guys welcome to my channel back at you with another video and today um baby <laughs> what are we doing today we are doing the water challenge video actually we're concluding the water challenge video oh yeah Hey guys, so it's day seven of the challenge and probably my most difficult day. So um, just to recap, day five and day six went fine. I managed to drink the 4.5 litres um, like I did the other four days. I, I did mess up on the times though, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't start early, which meant that I was drinking water until you know last night i was drinking until after one in the night um i was up editing so it was fine but it's not ideal i wouldn't suggest you do that if you, earlier you start the earlier you can finish which means that you can go toilet um as much as you can and you won't disturb your sleep um today though i had quite a busy day and so i took one of these bottles out with me 1.5 litre bottle and I managed to get through that so I didn't bring an extra bottle with me because I thought I'd be home in time to drink the second bottle and I wasn't plus also when you're out and about it was very difficult to be drinking this much water because you there's no toilets um so you have to plan that and when you gotta go you've got to go like there's no holding it you've got to go so here we are it's now about 10 30 at night and this is how much i have drank so far on the set of second bottle and then i will need to drink another bottle of this i don't know guys <laughs> if that's gonna happen i really really don't know but i'll let you know So guys, we finished our challenge and yeah, um, are you happy? I'm over the moon. Yeah? Yep, okay. over the moon. <laughs> um, so we did, for those who don't know, or well, you should know because you sh this is the end of the video so hopefully you were watching it from the beginning. We did a 4.5 litre a day water challenge for seven days. Um, why put 4.5 because that's a gallon in my calculation I think well I think I, I got the cat um, in Google's calculation yeah Google so blame Google if it's wrong um, so how did we do how did you do you start um, I think I did well I failed miserably but did well um, failed because um, I think we're supposed to have like 21 bottles I had 19 um failing on the sixth day because i desperately needed to sleep i'm suffering from sleep deprivation yeah because this this whole water thing um constant use of the toilet disturbs my sleep i work night so i try to sleep day and every minute 15 minutes up toilet up toilet so i decided i wanted to sleep on the sixth day and so i did I think it was probably a bad week for you because not only did you do your normal shifts but you did overtime as well mm -hmm. so um yeah I I didn't complete my um last bottle on the seventh day so as you would have seen um it was like 10 o'clock at night and I I had only started on my second bottle and I needed to do finish that plus do another one so that didn't happen um yeah so what are the benefits that you found by doing that um well crystal clear urine um i had a bit of a gut growing over this um 
this lockdown period and um, I think actually the water trimmed that down a bit I don't know if it's because my stomach was too full or I wasn't drinking things that I usually drink which are bad for me the niceness the niceness them whenever they yes. drink the no niceness we had a week of uh, without niceness or rather you had a week without niceness yeah um so yeah um skin didn't do a bad job on the skin so the skin the stomach um and just clear urine so i can see that um on a on a longer period of time perhaps it would have been a, a great benefit yeah um benefit for me um probably snacked a little bit less um i obviously the urine was clear i think there was a psychological benefit knowing that i was drinking a lot of water we didn't have any other sort of juice i did have my coffee as usual but um i didn't have any other juice um so that was good um i didn't really notice any difference in my skin per se um i felt i had a bit more energy but i don't know if that was due to the water drinking or just something else in general but um yeah i think more long term though it's probably i'm drinking more water now that the challenge is finished are you finding that as well that you're drinking more Water. yeah um i'm not a water drinker in general um so um to be drinking 1.5 um per day since then and i think we've gone what three days since yeah so the challenge ended on sunday today is thursday so yeah you've done yeah and i've been drinking 1.5 so um i think it's um clearly changed my relationship our relationship with them um, the whole water drinking yeah you usually drink water anyway yeah not as much as i'm drinking now um but yeah i normally would wouldn't i don't normally go a day without drinking water um but i certainly feel like my body is craving more water now as well so and i think we haven't gone back to like i certainly haven't gone back to drinking lots of juice so um there were the different things there were certain types of food that i always thought i needed a, something a juice to drink i couldn't drink mm. water with mm. particularly if it was like vegetable based or something like that and now i'm drink eating and if i want something to, if i'm eating that sort of food then i will drink water and it seems normal and fine um so yeah so definitely some changes there is there any tips you would give for anyone that wanted to do this for seven days Get a commode. <laughs> Don't get a commode. Or a catheter. <laughs> yeah, that that one, <laughs> get a catheter would be, would be the best idea. <laughs> you don't need a commode, you need a catheter. But I will say that <laughs> you do need to plan it. You really do need to plan your days. Because I think I, just acknowledge the fact that you're going to need the toilet all the time and so maybe if you're going to do the challenge and you do it on a week where you're not as busy that you don't need mm. to go outside of the home or you're not working nights and do overtime at the same time for me it was a little bit easier because i'm working from home so that was fine and that's why i think the day one to six was okay and then the seventh day when i had to go out and about was the day that i messed up so I don't think this thing, drinking one gallon or 4.5 litres of water a day is something that you can do all the time and still have a life. Or maybe it is. Um, for those who are used to the whole water drinking thing or, or, or consume lots of the stuff, does your body get used to it over time and does that then um, cut down the frequency of going to the toilet? Let us know. Yeah, I think, I think I would say do it um, and if you can sustain it for longer than seven days then do it because you're not actually going to do yourself any harm. I haven't read anywhere that water is ever bad for you. Um, I would probably say if you're somebody who does who likes a challenge and don't normally drink water this will really help because 
you're going to want to complete the challenge so if you're competitive like that which I certainly think we are because there was one day I was struggling to reach my three point um four point five and then he done it and I was like oh hell no I'm going to um make sure that I drink mine as well so you know maybe do it with somebody as well I would say that that certainly helped having a partner so if you've got a partner in life um, or best friend or whatever then get them involved do it together so you can both um, challenge each other and uh, make sure you get to the end goal um, yeah so that's what I would say do it with somebody would be my tip and make sure you're not busy um, but certainly do it and it's a really good way of just kick-starting that habit of drinking water um, yeah we we definitely have a better relationship with water now so that's good remember like share subscribe follow your girl thank you so stay tuned um if you have watched my vision board video um then you'll know that my one of my goals is to reach 5,000 subscribers this year that's ambitious i know but with your help i can get there so if you haven't subscribed please do and if you haven't watched a vision board video then go ahead all right thank you